silently approaching that bird that is blue. It must be grabbed for me to get to you. Waiting patiently for the moment to strike, the bird watching hunter gets to the way of the fright. Hopefully he can catch the blue blurred, otherwise this will be very tragic. Darn it, I missed! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm SK95. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last time, we beat the Skyview Temple and Demon Lord Giram. Opening another tablet for us to bring it over. And this time, I'm gonna cut ahead to get next blue bird because it's actually different. Huh, twice in a row? Hang on, this is getting annoying. There we go. Uh, really? All right, whatever. All right, I'm just gonna kill this first. Hey, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, darn you. Bye, have a great time. Must Jeez. Oh, hello. It's actually a new bug. Grasshopper. Got it. You got one feral and grasshopper. It is said these bugs were reproduced in massive numbers once every 10 years, eating every plant in sight. That's terrifying. <laughs> right, let's see that bluebird respond. Really? Nothing? Great, so the game kicked it out. Oh. See something. I silently approach this bluebird. I'll hopefully be able to get it. Darn it, missed! Let's try this again. Got it! You got a bluebird feather! Very few birds, small birds, possess this sky view plumage, making these feathers extremely rare. These are something you want to go after. Trust me. I'm going to cut ahead till I get three of these things because I'm going to need them. Because they are actually required for an upgrade for weapons and a shield. But that's going to be a while from now, so yeah. You actually do this trick of going in and out, but it's not exactly recommended because A, the enemy respawns. Until the... The uh, birds do not despawn their different numbers. You can actually just go back in and out until you get a blue one. <laughs> Die. <laughs> what the? I mean, I didn't get a blue bird, but I got a golden skull. It's a real rarity among skull ornaments. It shines of an eerie golden glow. One of the rare skulls you can get from Bokoblins. Nope, my luck of this is terrible. So I'm gonna go find a different bluebird spot. I'm gonna see you all in a second. It's clear my luck over there is garbage. If you wanna get back up there, you can just climb up to the top. There's actually the end of the dungeon, by the way, if you wanna go there to get more bluebird feathers. Goblin, hit me if you dare. Okay, good. We're gonna need a bit of money, so I'm gonna kill some of these boys because they actually are very easy sources of money. Got him. Nice, red ruby like I thought. We're gonna need a lot of red rubies for this because frankly speaking, there is a certain item that's gonna be available for us and it's going to be required. Got him. Did it drop blue on me? It did. Hit me! Hit me, darn you! Hit me! Fool. <laughs> okay. Way number four? You want to do a side sweep on these ways because it's actually easier to lock on to the enemy. Right now, though, we are kind of stumped. So I'm going to head to where another bird area is now. Die, please. Die, please. Huh? 
And again, you die. Dude. Really, no skulls and pointed at you three. You guys are pathetic. Moving on. You can actually do this instead. No, actually, you can't. <laughs> Bluebirds can be found around this area as well. You know, honestly speaking, the fairies are actually pretty terrible to keep in your pocket. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna collect some normal birds because I'm gonna actually need these for equipment pieces. Two pieces, nice. Very good. Another way. Got the way, and it fell down here. Alright, whatever. Killed the way. Ah, right, Deku Baba. To get down here, you need to kill this thing like last time, so... Boulder! You know this thing is a Quadro Bobble now. It's not a regular one. Yeah, the enemies do change of what their enemies are going to be. So keep that in mind after you beat a temple, no matter what, the enemies will upgrade. So keep that in mind. Hi, how's it going? Seeds. I'm gonna go ahead until I find some bluebirds, because it's random of when you get them to show up. Gotcha. Now we have about 10 feathers. We're gonna need a lot more than that. Because a lot of things do require some bird feathers, so you keep that in mind. By the way, birds will not spawn in unless you're not looking at the bird location. Like this. And then eventually. They respawn. However, it is clear to me my luck of the birds are becoming literally the birds. So, yeah, I'm not going to do it anymore because, honestly speaking, this bird shedging thing is a waste of my time right now. So we're going to cut ahead to where we back to Skyloft. See you all in just a second. By the way, on my way to Skyloft, I should point this out. Anywhere you drop or dive is where you're going to land. Let's say, for example, I wanted to land in front. Drive down here. general area is where you're going to dive into no matter what so it makes it quickly and easier to get down here so yeah smack beetle <laughs> too unfair for you kid <laughs> i forgot to mention you can get guys butterflies now so hang on there we go let me get up to beetle because he has something for us right now that we have enough money to get I believe that's how much I have enough money for. Let's check. Do I have enough for the adventure pouch? Oh! No, I do not. Sorry, Beetle. Oh. So, you already know what's going to happen if I go there, right? I have no money. Oh! Uh, yeah, let's get an extra wallet. Let's get extra signal workers. There we go. Now we have plenty of rooms. mounts for that. So I didn't want to get booted out in the way I was intended, but as hilarious as it is, I kind of wanted just the extra wallet just for the sake of it. That, that. Catch a goddess butterfly. Gonna need to. Dope. That's okay. There's other goddess butterflies around here. Goddess butterflies aren't showing up for whatever reason. There used to be a ton. Huh. 
Uh, give me one second to find one. That is too strange. There was one before we entered the airship. Now we go back. Here we go. Do they respawn now? That's weird. Okay, apparently Beetle causes them to vanish, but I don't understand why. You're gonna need to catch some goddess butterflies. Got them both. All right, so we got more of Goddess Butterflies. We're gonna need this for later. Now, Fi told us to go to the Statue of the Goddess next, but let's go check out the actual shops and see if they update it after we beat the dungeon. Because usually they do. See here, we don't need. Oh, new shield. Aha, there. That there is a very sturdy iron shield. It's much more durable than the wooden shield they have, and your point is, won't burst into flames. Suppose I should warn you, it won't protect you from electricity, which comes to a nasty shot. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Taking liberty. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I guess he's just talking to us about the new item, Iron Shield. Yep, he is. So, we have the Iron Shield. I just need to center. There we go. We can actually switch to it right now on the fly. Right now, though, I don't need a second fairy, so I'm gonna have to get rid of it. I need the extra space for the potions as well as I need anything else. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to Gondo and see if we can do a fixed shield first. Because we're going to need to fix this shield. Actually, no, we're not. I just realized something. We're not even gonna need this that shield anymore because the next area is actually not gonna need it. Yes, let's store an item. Let's store this into the storage because the wooden shield is actually not needed. The next area we're going to is going to be anti oh, yeah. All right, back to Gondo. Let's see if we can upgrade anything. All right, there's all the items we can upgrade. Let's start with the bug nets. No, we do not have enough. Slingshot. Nope. And shield. Nope. The seas? Monster Claws. I don't have Monster Claws. Well, that sucks. Alright, Gondo. Alright, let's check the potion shop. We do plenty of bugs now. Let's see if we can make any upgrade potions. Sure. Oh, wait. I have a potion. I art some I have a fairy. Yeah, I'm going to take this revitalizing potion. We're going to need this. Alright, good. Now let's talk to this verdict here and see if we can upgrade a potion. We need Skyloft Mantis for them. I have way too many horns. <laughs> Garbatrarily speaking, I have eight hearts, so right now it's kind of pointless to get a heart potion. We can't use any of the bombs related to the line. Keep that in mind. All right, I'm gonna go to the Statue of the Goddess because that's where we need to go next. <laughs> okay. We just need to go into the Statue of the Goddess and bring the tablet to the statue. If you remember from the previous time we were up here, you will remember that we need to place this into the slots. Before we got the Faron Woods, next, Pull this out, put this on top. Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located to the skies up to the northeast. The opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Yep. The next area we're going up to is definitely one of my more favorite areas of the game. But we have a little something that is going to interfere with that little destination. So let's actually head back where we need to be and... Huh. Hey! Ooh. 
Winona. Kukigi, Kukigi, where did that child have gone? Oh, Kukigi, where have you, did you go? Oh, I do is she's been kidnapped. Oh, oh Link. Oh. What perfect timing. Have you seen my Kukigi? Nope. Oh. I, I see. Please, Link, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere and I can't find her anywhere. I've asked everyone I could find to help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with an unknown person with a scary face. Someone even said they thought they had seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly, someone must have just walked off of her. Find Gugui, please, please. It breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there crying. Please, Link, you got it. Thank you. The night kept me should be proud to have a student like you. Yeah, I'm better than Groose. That's not saying much, is it? Please, find my daughter quickly. Yep. Hey! Now we gotta go find her. It's not exactly obvious what you need to do. However, there is a way to find her. First things first, let's go into any random house. But first... Yeah, we need to go to any random house. I was like, but first... Nope. We don't need to do that yet. We need to go into this house right here. <coughs> this is their home anyway. So what you need to do is actually go to a bed and go to sleep till night. Yes, Link can jump in any single bed he wants to, fall asleep instantaneously, and get out. If only was that if only I was like that. Oh, he's the Oh, that makes more sense. He's, she's the builder's daughter. Alright, so as you remember, enemies are here at nighttime. Thankfully though, with our upgrade goddess sword, we actually get our goddess sword, we can actually deal with them. Mia, again. Let's go for a swim, Mia. The game doesn't really tell you where you need to go to find her, but it's actually quite simple. Now, there's a lot of graves here. I think there's a hint in town to do something about it. But I know it by heart, so keep that in mind. If Unless you're playing along, you're going to not figure this out. You want to push this gravestone. There it is. You just need to smack it, and then the symbols will light up. There we go. Nothing of all. Now, something fun I like to do. Who wants to live forever? There we go. You want to head down all the way here. Because there's a little hut underneath. Hmm? Ink! Oh no. Save the child! off the dwarfs of a dead villager. You die! Stop! Stop! I beg of you! Please don't hurt me! What? Oh, goodness. I know you have bad. This must look at you to you right now, but I assure you, I mean no harm. We're just playing the Scream as loud as you can game. I wish I had that game when I was growing up. Uh. Is it a, a fun game? Oh, dear. Perhaps I had an explanation as an order. My name is Benetrix. And I am the monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood curling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I have felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart only wishes to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can see, you really imagine, it has been quite difficult to break the ice when they restrict hoofs. Paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with more joy than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them, they send my claw of friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. You said it, not me. 
Oh, right, silly me, I got ahead of myself. You see, there's an old tale among my monster kin that goes as follows. Uh. It seems when the humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as gratitude crystal. <laughs> gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at that and knowing there were such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Uh. Oh, goodness, nothing would be to let me more than become a human. From the moment I laid my regrettable demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Would you please gather gratitude crystals and shove them to me? Sure! <laughs> Truly? You'll help me? I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. <laughs> they could also be merely lying here in Skyloft or elsewhere among the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone of a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please solve them troubles and scatter me all the gratitude crystals you bleh, the gratitude crystals you can find. <sighs> Any help you can provide will, will dearly be appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. <sighs> that your girl should be home safe and sound by tomorrow morning. Give her parents my warmest regards when you see them. Oh, and good luck gathering the gratitude crystals, Arkbar. Mr. Star, please give me five if you can. That'd be most. That would be so splendid. You do a great kindness for someone, you may even find several at once. What do you have to say for yourself? He's not a bad man, he saved me one time when I almost fell off the edge. And he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night, so I hang out in here for a while. Tell him I'm gonna come home in the morning. Alright, kid, he's a genuine monster, but he's a genuine nice person. Yeah, Benatrix is one of my more favorite characters in this game. He's quite, like, different. I have, like, weird characters I like in certain games like Xenoblade 3 I like a certain character that's named Tyron. I'm pretty sure if you know that character, you'll understand. Let's just climb all the way up. We're gonna have to go into a random bed to go back to sleep because that's the way it works. Die choo choo. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I get to a bed. Now, try as you might, you can talk to them all you want, but they're not going to say anything. Oh, you found Kugi? Well, I guess it's good to hear she's at least with a friendly, responsible dog, but I can't wait to see her. Yeah, you're not going to get anything until a little bit. <sighs> what? Are you serious? You found Kugi? What did I tell you? No one here has got her hair on her head. Yep. Now let's go to sleep until morning. Still wish it was that easy to go to sleep in normal areas, but I digress. She's inside. <sighs> oh, Link! Kukui is safe and back at home, and it's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can only really smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. If that looks familiar, it looks very identical to a certain item in Breath of the Wild and in Twilight. Bleh, and Tears of the Kingdom. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. We're taking a lot of gratitude to produce these bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. That's right. This is the collectible you're going to have to search for for the most of the game. So keep that in mind. Manatrix said he needed five anyway. So let's going to go back. I'm going to cut ahead to when we get back to him again. Technically speaking, any trouble can be found around Skyloft. Technically speaking, we, while we could just start off with the ability to go there no matter what, there is a quest for us available right now. See? Hmm. Ugh, I wonder where she has gone. Hey, what's up? Hmm. Ugh, I'm so worried. So worried. What's wrong? No. Ah, uh, Link, you really want to hear all my troubles? That's kind of you. So you see, a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come home yet. It's getting late of her for her to still be out, so I went looking for her, but I couldn't find her. I just hope nothing has happened to me. I'm worried sick thinking about it. No. Hey, Link, would you mind helping me look for her? Sure. She said she was curious about the colorful isle that appeared, colorful island that appears recently, especially somewhere in the southwestern sky. I'm counting on you, Link. Yep. Let's head to the <gasps> southwestern sky. <laughs> Southwestern Scott. Wrong button. There we go. We want the colorful islands over here. We're gonna have to fly up to her. Easy way to do this is actually go through these holes. These are actually speed boosters. 
whenever you need to speed up, you just use these. It simply is the fastest way to get You can actually chain these together. However, she didn't make it over there. She actually made it only over here. There we go. Poor Lost Wing. Wow! deal? I think that's our pronunciation. Well, if it isn't Link. I'm glad you're here. My bird got injured while I was out at our quick flight, and now he can't fly. I saw him manage to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. I can't go home until my bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. Of course, it can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Hey, Link, I really need your help. Will you go get some bird medicine for me? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. You're a real lifesaver. My older brother has some bird medicine. Just go find him, and he'll give you what I need. Okay, he's somewhere pacing around the plaza in Skyloft, waiting for me to come home and being worried out of his mind. Huh? Really? You already spoke to him? Well, that makes things easier. I'll be waiting for you here with my bird. Hurry back! Yep. Right, I'm gonna cut ahead back to where the brother is. I mean, saying we, the game was on the Wii. Haha! <laughs> uh, I'm funny. Oh, right, I forgot this happens. Sometimes you can actually see other lost wings pop around and feel whatever. Back to me, <laughs> Landing! All right. I know where she is. What? You found my sister? Her bird's injured and can't fly? That's terrible. In that case, take this as quickly as you can. These are mushroom spores. They will heal her bird, the bird injury. You know something odd? You got some mushroom spores. There are some spores from a giant mushroom that's said to be work wonders on injured birds. You can actually find these spores somewhere else. If she uses this, she can quickly heal the bird. She should be able to make her way home. Take it to my sister. You can keep the empty bottle once she's had a chance to use the stuff inside. Yep, that's our third empty bottle. I'm counting on you, Link. Yep. Third empty bottle already gotten. So yeah, we already have three. Yeah. Traditional Zelda games has four empty boxes, but you're gonna find out pretty quickly that this is not traditional when it comes to that. Maybe I'll see you guys back where the sister is. I'm terrible at remembering names. I'm sorry. Virtual will probably be very grateful for this. Here you go. Wow! Portral. I took portal. Oh, mushroom spores. What a relief. You brought the medicine? Here, I'll take it. Here, take it. <laughs> Thank you. Now I can heal my bird's injury. Mm. Now my poor bird should be healthy again in no time. <laughs> I was beginning to think we were doomed. You saved my life and my birds. We both owe you a big thanks. That's right. Gratitude crystals. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. You must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this many bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. You're going to hear that a lot. Trust me. Mm. Here we go. See you back in town. Anyway, I'm gonna see you all back in town. Ooh. Link, my sister made it home safely. Thank goodness, I was so worried about her. Thank you so much for your help, Link. Yep. You actually get 10 from this quest. So it's actually quite useful to go back here and get the graduate crystals you need. Do not skip them out on him at all when it comes to that, because it makes it very easy. So, there are a few other things we can do for graduate crystals in this town. There we go. Sorry, distracted by a butterfly. I must get. There we go. It's jarring when the sword moves instantaneously to the left because it's just trying to realign itself, but it technically happens. Anyway, the next item on our agenda to go to is actually the school, the academy. Hey! Man, when Bruce gets sad, he's downright miserable. He's always in his room sulking. Whenever he does come out, he's angry at everyone for no reason, even me. Wait, I hear it. you're the one responsible for going, Zelda going missing. This is your mess, so you better fix it. It's not my fault. Anyway, the basement floor is segregated based on male or female, so technically this is my room. 
So actually, let's go to sleep. Actually, not in this room. We want to actually go to a different room when we do this. Because it's actually something at nighttime that's only available at night. Cron and Switch's room. Yeah. They have a tiny room compared to Groose. Until night. A lot of this video is going to be all side questy stuff, so keep in mind this is not going to be main story stuff. Stretch is here at his room, and he has a bubble on there. Huh? Oh, it's you, Link. What do you want with me? Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> bugs. I'm looking at bugs. Yep. He's an instant guy. Instant guy. Bugs are amazing, even more amazing than Groose in a lot of ways. Well, I mean, they can't insult you, so therefore, <laughs> I can't resist. Oh! Wait, I'm not saying Groose is as amazing as a bug. Look, I just really like bugs. I just want to collect all kinds of bugs. Sometimes I even dream of having, like, an entire island full of bugs. Oh. How about this? Here's the plan. If you find a bug, I'll sell come sell it to me. When it comes to bugs, movies are no objects. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> now my bug collecting ambitions will finally be realized. So if you ever want to sell any bugs, just bring them to me. I usually hang around here at night. I won't buy any bug, though. I'll buy any given day. It depends on the mood I'm in. Oh, another thing. There might be a bug a little bit, but I only want to do these deals at night. I have a reputation to protect, you know. <laughs> Got a link? I don't mean to be a pest, but I'm counting on you. I can't stop thinking about bugs. So let's do this. What are you going to sell me? Let's see. It's not something I have the ability to sell tonight. Sadly, no. Huh. Well, that's about it. I guess I'll be seeing you. Bug pun. I love it. <laughs> All right, back to morning. There's one more place I wanted to go on our agenda. So I'm going to cut to head to when we're back in the sky. There we go. Finally here. We want to open this chest we got unlocked at the last video. This contains the thing I was worried about. You got a gold ruby. It's worth a staggering 300 rubies. Shh. Don't tell me. So, yeah, that's part of the reason why I wanted to be here. This is the reason I wanted to be here. Because that ruby amount is staggering. And this is why we need extra wallets. Because the amount of rubies required and not we have is limited. If you didn't buy any extra wallets like I did, then you would have a tough time making sure your ruby amount is too high. Because a lot of rubies go waste when you don't have too much. If this were, say, Twilight Princess, in case of chests, if there is way too much value, it's going to mean that Link will just throw it in the back of the chest. But he won't do it in this case. We actually want to head north to the tower next to the side of the island. The new circle of light that's open to us. Yeah. On top of this bamboo-like island... This is Peter. Peter. Whoa, is that you, Link? Never thought I'd run into you here. What is this place? This is my secret spot where I come to work and kinks out my sword arm. There's one time I'm the most popular guy in all sky. The folks were always cheering for me like it was a parade. But as you know, time passes. I'm not the young buck I used to be. I eat when I get stressed and I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. That drives a fella here to chop some bamboo. Let me tell you, there's no better way to sweat off these pounds. Here's an idea. I'm going to just slice some bamboo. Sure. Yeah. That's the spirit. Chop away, boy. Hold on a second. Get your horses old. There's no way to slice of an uh. That's that thing right here. You're going to take a swing and whittle down the big old bamboo right in the middle of the room. See, it's a contest to see how many cuts you can make before it hits the ground. If you're good enough, you'll strut out here with a prize. <laughs> because the we see what you're made of. You want to give it a try? You bet. <laughs> Alright, get the slicing. Before we do anything, make sure your controller is stabilized. <laughs> well, I missed. But I actually got at least a minimum. Hold up. Son, you're all done. Let's count the cuts. Your score is 15. No. Well, I got miles to go. I'll give you something. Here's 30 rubies. Next time around, shoot for 20 cuts. No. Well, look at that. I'll take a gander at the thing. It's clear you got a stubby little sword. You did mighty well considering that. See, the longer your sword you got, the easier it is to zip through that bamboo like a loaf of warm butter. If you get a longer blade in the future, come try again. You'll be surprised what a little extra seal can do for your chopping score. 
Come back when you feel like. Yep. Let's uh, cut ahead until I get a better score. I'm in. Uh, Ironically enough, it's money cost effective very easily. <laughs> 26 this time. That's much better. Hold up, son. You're all done. Let's cut this cut. You got 26. Yeah. Ooh wee! A new record. Where'd it go, kid? Uh. Ooh wee! That's what I'm talking about. You really brutalized that bamboo boy. Here's your prize. We get an evil crystal. This solid chunk of pure crystallized monster malice is extremely rare. That's right. You can get random items from this quest. 28 chops next time. You're not going to feel like the sword arm. Let's see if I can get that 28. Because uh. I know I can be a little faster with this. I killed it. Oh, good grief. Hold up, son. You're all done. Let's count these those cuts. Your score this time is 31. Yeah. Ooh-wee! A new record. Way to go, kid. Yeah. That's one aligner of a score. I can only reach that number a few times myself. Here's your prize. You got a blue bird feather. Very few small birds. Yep. Another blue bird feather. Come back when you ever feel like you want to chisel that sword arm. Yep. That is the higher amount. The higher amount of sword slices you get on this, the better the score is. You can actually get a goddess spoons from this. But I can't talk about that for a while. Because you can rarely get those in the game. So there's another area I want to go to before we end this off. I'm going to cut ahead to that next area. I totally did not have a, a pure game, but I digress. We wanted to actually head back to town because I forgot about the return of the gravity crystals to Benatrix. We just need to go to any random house that has a bed to it, and we just need to sleep. I love how it takes, you know, all these things you can see about are very old and valuable. Make sure you don't bring anything. Yeah, don't bring anything in this house. Trust me. It's a waste of your time. Anyway. Wait, the sheets have rubies? Red rubies? Oh, man. In case you're wondering where this house is, this is how's the item shop guy. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, what do you need? Um. <sighs> so when you say, um, that means you don't have a good reason to be here. Huh? What? You think I'm all being gruff? You think I'm totally different during the day? Hey. I'm tired of having to keep a sight me, slime me, bleh, slime me. Smiley shopkeeper all day. Are you all right? Just don't think this is a real me. Anyway, you're here to make some money. Sit at my market, right? Night market? <sighs> ah, it's the first time here, isn't it? Oh, well. Night is when I do my buying. See, I buy treasure. And that's not to say I'll buy any old thing. I only buy a specific type of treasure. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? Well, today I'm buying these treasures. We're not lava. Elden ore, jelly blob, and evil crystal. Mm, you can sell them for any amount, but the higher value one, the better the money. Let's say I give them a horn. 20 rubies. No. Yeah, this is a easy way to get money if you just want to grind up on an area that has a lot of items. I'd recommend doing this if you have an over excess amount of items that you don't need. But I wouldn't recommend doing it if you need these items. I forgot my was uncentered. <laughs> So, anyway, let's go back to Manatrix. I'll see you all in just a second. Because we're going to need to deal with him. In case you're wondering, yes, that's as, fun, that's as fun as you did in the original. So, anyway, Manatrix's house is right down here, and we just need to get in. I think it's that's pronunciation. Future me, look that up. Oh, you've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent! Please take this as a token of my demon's deep, this demon's deepest appreciation. Yep, you got the medium mullet. This hefty capacity of this wallet allows you to store up to 500 rubies in it. I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become human. Please, wouldn't you hate a poor, unfortunate demon in need? Oh, gracious me. I have the quality of gratitude crystals you brought for me. It's a feeling insufficient reward of my cheeks burn hot. Embarrassment, but please take this. A piece of heart. Like four of these, increase your heart capacity by one. I'm still gonna need more graduate crystals to become a human. Please don't jeer us on Aegis, unfortunate demon. Alright, so we dealt with that. I'm going to head back and turn it to morning.
Found it. Uh, <sighs> this child won't go to sleep for me. What can I do? Uh, that's terrible. Yeah, it's pretty terrible, but even when babies cry, they're still really cute. Even they're yours, I guess. You understand some of that? Yeah. Life. Ah, uh, the missus... She gets tired from running the business all day. I have to let her get some rest sometimes. Right? <laughs> snork, snork, snork! Yeah, pretty much he's all on his own for this. Open the cap, then. You really shouldn't open people's suburbs without permission. Yep, the game penalizes you for opening that. I figured I might as well show that off. There's nothing that is available, only happens at night. You're probably thinking, oh, maybe I can go and fly on my left wing at night, right? Well, what happens if I say, do a little skydiving? Well, I'll let you know right now. Whee! Hello there, trainee. You'll never be promoted to a full knighthood if you don't can't learn to keep up with your wits about you. Oh, and don't let me catch you going out flying at night. Only trained knights such as myself should be doing that. You take care now. How about? Hey. Yep, you are not allowed to fly at night. Legitimately, though, it's a little annoying, but I digress. Let's just go find a spot to sleep, and I'll cut ahead to. So I think that's it for now. Anyway, next time in Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're gonna head off to the Red Pillar of Light and see what location got opened up. See you all next time!